In this video, I will show you the power of the Curves Auto Color Correction options and how you can use it to color correct and color match your images in Photoshop. To follow along, you can download the images for this video. The link is below in the description. Okay, let's jump right into the first example. How to remove a color cast from a photo by using my favorite algorithm in the color corrections options. So this is the document that I'm going to work with. We have several layers here and let's start with example number one. As you can see, this image needs color correction and you can use the curves adjustment layer to color correct this image. You can go into the new adjustment layer icon and select curves. From here, I'm just going to click and drag this layer down so it's above example number one. And I'm going to click on the auto button. When you click on auto, Photoshop will apply an automatic color adjustment to this image and it doesn't give you the best result. In my opinion, the default algorithm that Photoshop uses is not the best, but luckily there's a few others that we can select that in my opinion are better. You can hold Alt on Windows option on the Mac and click on the auto button to bring up the auto color correction options. From here, you can select from one of these algorithms. By default, Photoshop uses enhance brightness and contrast. And you can click on the other algorithms to see the result. My favorite algorithm is the find dark and light colors algorithm. As you can see, it does a fantastic job. I also like to check snap neutral midtones to get a better color balance. And I also like to set this as my default algorithm to use when applying the auto color correction options. I'll press OK. And now next time that I create a curves adjustment layer, and click on auto, Photoshop will apply that algorithm. And in my opinion, it does a much, much better job most of the time. Again, I encourage you to change your default algorithm to color balance your images faster. If you're enjoying this video, then make sure you hit that like button now. Also, check out the link in the description to sign up for the Photoshop Summit. This video is an excerpt from one of my classes and you can see more there. And now let's look at the following example. We have a similar issue. The image is too warm and it needs to be color corrected. And of course, you can create a new adjustment layer from the new adjustment layer icon. And you can press on the auto button to see what Photoshop does. In this case, Photoshop didn't color correct this image. This image has color correction issues that are too difficult for the auto color correction to solve. But if we select this center eyedropper, the midtone eyedropper, and click anywhere on the image that should be a neutral gray, like these columns. These columns should be white. They shouldn't have any color cast. We can click on them, and you can see that Photoshop removes the color cast, and it looks much, much better. I know that you're probably thinking, well, why not just click on this midpoint eyedropper to begin with and make that selection without going into the auto button? Well, let me show you why. If you create a curves adjustment layer, and select that eyedropper and click on the same area, notice that Photoshop does indeed remove the color cast, but the image is still washed out. That's one of the advantages of doing the previous method, that Photoshop adds contrast to the image automatically. And if the image is not color corrected, you can always continue to the next step and use this gray point eyedropper to click on an area that should have a neutral gray. So that's why I prefer to use this algorithm. In a lot of cases, just clicking on auto will solve all your issues. And if they don't, all you need to do is click on the gray point eyedropper and click over any area in the image. This should be a neutral gray. And the best thing about this is that you can experiment. For example, you can click on different areas of the image to see what gives you the best result. And when you find something that you like, that's what you stay with. Next, let's look at how we can use this algorithm to color match a layer. This technique works great when compositing and the background has a strong color cast or color tint. In this example, I want the jet to have the same color cast as the sky to make it look more realistic. To start, I'll create a new curves adjustment layer. And to only affect the jet and nothing else, I'm going to click on this icon here to clip it to the layer below. This down pointing arrow represents a clipping mask, which means that this adjustment layer will only affect the layer directly below it and nothing else. So any adjustment that I make will only affect the jet. I can also click on this icon to reset the adjustment layer. By the way, you could also use a keyboard shortcut if you like. You don't have to click on this icon. A lot of times I prefer using the keyboard shortcut, which is Control Alt G on Windows. That's Command Option G on the Mac, and you can create a clipping mask like you see there. 
So now that we have our curves adjustment layer clipped to the jet layer, I can hold Alt on Windows, Option on the Mac, and click on Auto. That will bring up the Auto Color Correction options. And from here, you can see that we have target colors. Earlier, we used black and white as our shadows and highlights. And if we're trying to neutralize an image to remove a color cast, that's exactly what we want. But in this case, we don't want to remove a color cast. We want to actually introduce a color cast so that the jet matches the background. So we need to tell Photoshop to have different shadow colors and different highlight colors. The first step is to uncheck Snap Neutral Midtones and we can double click on shadows to set the shadows color. And what you want to do here is look at the background and click at the color of the shadows, something that has a color cast. By the way, right now this is not going to work. If I just were to click on this orange area here, notice that Photoshop makes the entire plane white. That's because I didn't select the curves thumbnail here. I selected the layer mask thumbnail. So everything is white, as you can see from that thumbnail preview. So two things you can do. Number one is you can hold Control on Windows, Command on the Mac, and click to actually select the color in the image, as you see here. Or you could cancel out of this and click on the thumbnail. Notice the focus, the white outline is now in the thumbnail. If I hold Alt on Windows, Option on the Mac, and go back into Auto, uncheck Snap Neutral Midtones, I can click on the Shadows swatch. And now when I click, I'll select the actual color that is found in the background and not the white of the layer mask. Again, that's because the focus, the white outline, is on the Curves Adjustment Layer thumbnail and not the layer mask. So what you want to do here is select the color of the shadows. So I'm going to select this orange. And if I'm unhappy with that, I can make it darker by bringing it down, or I could also adjust the hue by dragging this slider. So what I'll do is I'll select just this orange color here. I'm more concerned about the color that I'm applying and not so concerned about the contrast. We're going to worry about that later. So for now, I'll just press OK, and I can click on the highlights swatch and then click on the highlights. You don't want to use white or any other specular highlight. You want to use something that represents the highlight colors. In this case, maybe yellow. And if it's too yellow or too bright or too dark, you could always adjust it by clicking and dragging on this point and then using the slider again to control the color. So in this case, I want it more in the oranges rather than the yellow. So something like this should work. Then you can press OK. So we apply the shadow colors and the highlight colors. Next, we need to work on the contrast. And to do so, just press OK. Photoshop will ask you if you want to make these colors a new default colors. In most cases, you don't want to do this, so just press no. And now, with this RGB curve, you can adjust the contrast of the image. See that? So I can click down like so to make the shadows darker, and I can click and drag up to make the highlights brighter, and that gives it the right contrast for this scene. That's before and after. I'm sure that by now you can see the power of the auto color corrections and how it is one of the best tools for color correcting and color matching in Photoshop. Let me know by hitting the like button if you agree. And if you want to learn more about applying color to a photo, then check out my easy method for applying color grades. You can watch the video here. Thank you so much for watching.